What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another skills validation video for you future 68 whiskeys. You guys remember Sergeant Zuni guy, he taught you how to do the combat application tourniquet. Today we're going to be going over one of the second skills which is emergency bandage. I have them all right here, so we're going to be trying to do as many as we can in this little series, right? We're only here revalidating ourselves for a week, so we're going to try to cram in as much as we can and get these videos out to you. Before you do anything else, I need you all to like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and even if you're not signed into a YouTube account, just go do it. It takes two minutes and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and comment down below what you're most excited for about being a 68 Whiskey. But without further ado, let's get to it. Hi guys, so like last video, I'm going to be reading off step by step what needs to happen for this skill validation and Sergeant Zuniga is going to be going as I say the steps. That way you guys can follow along and you get a general idea of how to do this when you actually get to 68 Whiskey AIT and you're in whiskey phase and you're doing all this stuff. Again, they might teach you different, so always go with what your instructors teach, but this is just a general idea, okay? I got the steps right here. Got Sergeant Zuniga, we got our beautiful casualty Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. So first step, take BSI. Okay, BSI. There we go. Expose the injury, assess, and check for an exit wound. Okay. So you're exposing assessing. the injury, assessing, and, and you see a wound. Right here. Yes. Right. Okay. So step three is pack the wound with gauze. Gauze should extend one to two inches above the skin. And if you have any helpful tips to give them, you can. Yeah, so um, recommendation, uh, we actually grab this gauze right here, pack it down to your shirt, right, or your, like a coat. And from here, you're going to pack your wound. When you, so whenever you pack your wound, you're going to be applying pressure onto the artery at all times. So like, so it's nothing like super relaxed like this. No, okay, we don't want any of that. It's always constant, heavy pressure. Your finger should be hurting by the end of, like, of your packing. Yeah, so. and that's a good way to keep both of your hands free, guys. So step four, right? Once he's done packing, he's going to verbalize holding pressure for three minutes. All right, so he'll finish that. See how he's always holding pressure, guys? Like, it's not coming up, it's not fluffing up. Like, it's a condensed little ball right there on the wound. Again, guys, comment down below what you guys think of this series. Do you guys enjoy it? you think it's very helpful for all you future 68 whiskeys or what? So now that he's done it, right, you want to make sure it protrudes okay. one to two inches above the wound, which sure it does. Enough. And now he's going to hold pressure for three, a minimum of three minutes. Hold so pressure, pressure has been hold for three minutes. Okay. And now step five is place the white portion of the dressing covering all of the wound. So pressure if your casualty wall. is conscious, you guys can instruct him to hold pressure himself. Or if you have CLS nearby, you can instruct them to hold pressure as well while you prepare the emergency dressing. So that's the white portion that's gonna be placed down onto the wound. So right there. There we go. So now as he's doing that, he's going to wrap the elastic portion of the bandage around the extremity as you see this. So watch this step right here, guys, because this is important. So you lock it in place like that, and you're going to go around one whole time just to secure it. That way it doesn't like get all raggedy and rickety. You guys will understand if you go around the opposite way. And now what he's going to do is he's going to back the opposite way, and that's going to apply the pressure to that dressing, right? So now that he's wrapping it around, once he gets to the very end, he's going to insert the elastic wrap into the pressure bar. So make sure that whenever you wrap, you're also going to be going oh, like pretty much over these edges. You want to make sure that that gauze cannot come out at any point in time. You don't want to see any gauze, period. Exactly. All right, so like, like, like right here is the edge, right? You see all this gauze? I'm going to come over here and cover it, right? I'll we'll make sure everything is covered. There we go, there we go. And he's continuing to wrap tightly, ensuring all edges of the wound and pad are covered, like he said. Clip. And now he's going to secure the closure bar to the bandage. And Grab you guys on. can see right there. Hook. Grab on and hook it. There we go. And so now that he's done that, he's going to loosen the tourniquet that we previously put on in our last video. Right? And so what you want to do, very important, is when you do this, you want to make sure you do not do it super fast. You want to loosen it from the windlass and not from the strap. So you'll see right now. You want to do it very slowly because if you do it fast, uh, you can get that blood rush coming straight back in and it can blow out the dressing that you just put. Okay. So watch. Checking. See? Slowly. Checking. So now the evaluator is going to state bleeding is controlled. So that is good. And you are going to just leave that loosened tourniquet in place just in case he starts bleeding again. 
you can instantly just you know reapply it and put that pressure back on there and now he is going to say uh, secure the bandage with tape that's the final step so now that he's got loosened the tourniquet he's coming back over here and that's it secure with tape okay for your uh, skills it's going to be one part of the tape is going to touch the skin you're going to go around kind of like the uh, barbershop poles right mm -hmm. around. and again guys your instructors may teach you differently this is just something that we've learned along our time you know in the army so uh, always listen to your instructors because they're telling you exactly how they're going to be grading so it's always good and it's also touching the skin all right there. sweet guys and that completes the emergency bandage portion these are actually going to be the same sheets that y'all that your graders are going to be using when you test out on these skills validations. So again, guys, thank you for tuning in to this video right on emergency bandage. We're going to be bringing you the next one uh, it, here in like a couple days or a week. But uh, stay tuned. We're going to be going over either uh, chest seals or needle chest decompressions, you know, uh, surgical crikes, things like that. So be sure to drop in the comment section below what other videos you want to see in the future. And once this series is done, what other 68 Whiskey content do you guys want to see? Because we can put out some good stuff, guys. Like Again, we have an amazing demonstrator. We have an amazing casualty, right? And uh, it's, it's going to be great. I really hope you guys are enjoying this new little series. It's informative. And I need you all to like this video right now because it really helps us out. And subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And, uh, yeah, we will see you all in the next one.